welcome back to my channel this is going to be a video on seven things that i've learned in being almost seven years natural yes i know it's been forever since 2011 and we're in 2018 so that's a hell of a long time okay so the first thing that i've learned this is not in any order of significance it's just random is the fact that protective styling helps you actually obtain your hair length goals quicker why because you're able to retain your length through low manipulation and low just fussing around with your hair because if you fuss around with it less it's less likely to break therefore you keep the inches on your head and then you are actually able to obtain your goals quicker so that's the first thing that protective styles help you to actually obtain your length goals quicker the second thing that i've learned through being seven years natural is that heat is actually not bad too much heat is bad. I can testify of that because I thought I was just like a badass here using heat all the time, which wasn't a bad thing until I bought new straighteners and then I put it on the high seat thinking my hair was like invincible and then I burnt my hair and that, I think we're gonna need a whole series on how I'm gonna like revive my hair back to life because guys, don't ever in your life buy new straighteners and think that your hair can take the high seat. Like that was the biggest error of my natural hair journey so understand that heat is not bad but too much heat is really damaging and there's no way of coming back for it you're just gonna have to like cut it off slowly or cut it off completely if you're really down for it heat is not bad too much heat is is life-changing the third thing i've learned is that the most important thing your hair needs is moisture keeping your hair moisturized is so vital because if it's not moisturized then it's more likely to break off and then you're not going to be able to reach the hair goals that you want so how do you keep your hair moisturized a variety of different ways you know through co-washing once a week and making sure that when you co-wash it you put a leave-in conditioner and an oil and not just letting your hair go like a month without you really putting any form of moisture in it. I would say you need to probably moisturize your hair at least once a week, whether that be co-washing or you just reapplying conditioner, whatever it is, just allowing that water or conditioner to penetrate your hair so then your hair is like moisturized and then because it's moisturized, you're not, it's not like getting all matted and knotty. So keeping your hair moisturized is really, really vital to actually allow your hair to grow and to grow significantly because if it's dry, it's more likely to break off and then you won't have any hair left. The next thing I've learned through being seven years natural is the fact that you need to protect your hair while you sleep because you might just wake up and you won't have any hair left. So protecting your hair while you go to sleep, that could be through like cheeky plug. It could be through like a satin bonnet. For example, for example one like this. It's just like, I think this is Kente material. And inside it's just like satin. So you can just go to bed like this and your hair is like protected. You know what I'm saying? If you want to find out where I got this, I'll link in the description box. It's from NH Creative and these are really good. So if you want to go check her out, then go ahead. The next thing that I've learned being natural for seven years is that what works for one person's hair may not work for you. And that's okay because all of our hair is different. So be mindful of the fact that if you try something and it doesn't work for you, it's fine. The whole, you know, the point of being natural is finding what works for you, what products work for you. And you just get to explore different products and when you find what works for you and you are able to actually develop a regime then it's fine you don't have to like copy every single youtuber and then get angry because it's not working for you it's fine everyone's hair is different so find out what works for you all hair is different and it's okay all hair matters okay i'm joking the next thing i've learned through being seven years natural is that your hair does change over time with like the longer your hair gets the looser and curl it becomes because your hair is like more weighted so then the curl itself becomes more loose if that makes sense so like don't be alarmed if you are natural and you've been natural for ages and then you notice that your hair's just a different texture to when you first went natural and you had like this much hair your hair does change over time like hair that's like this short it's gonna like it's gonna be different to hair that's like to your waist do you know what i mean it's gonna change it's gonna change in texture in a sense but it's not like physically changing, it's just changing because of the length of it. So your hair does change over time, but that's fine, it's okay. And the last thing I've learned through being seven years natural is that you tangle your hair in a safe way because that will help you retain length. Do not ever try and detangle your hair while it's really dry and really knotted with one of those like really small thin rat tail combs. Don't ever try and do that because your hair will literally end up in the bin. If you want to detangle your hair, especially if you've kept it in a protective style for like a month or so, try and like 
do so in like wet or damp hair with like conditioner in it. Perhaps use your hands at first when it's, when it's really knotty and then go through like with the wide tooth comb. So I would suggest finger detangling and then using comb or just using a wide tooth comb in general if you don't really have the time. But I would say that if your hair is severely knotted, you might want to try finger detangling because you're then less likely to like rip out all of your hair. So detangle your hair in a safe way. Don't ever try and detangle your hair when it's really dry, really knotty. Like if I was to take my hair out of these um, braids, I wouldn't necessarily just come like whoosh, rip my hair off with a wide tooth comb. I'd probably, I'd go into the shower, uh, get it wet, put conditioner on it and then use my hands and then eventually get through the comb and I would do it in sections. So just ensure that you tangle your hair in a safe way so that you don't rip it off and it ends in the bin rather than being on your head. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz and leave a comment below on other tips that you may have had, um, you, you, you may recommend through going through the years of being natural and I'm sure we can just help each other out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.